What's up guys? I'm gonna show you my new toy. I guess my new modification of my Antex Mentor 4. So I got me this uh, Minn Kota Power Drive V2. It's a Beaumont trolling motor and uh, ended up just modifying pretty much this is not the you know, first time it's ever happened. I've seen this all around YouTube so so I did use the the original or the stock Intex mount and just mounted a board on top with some U-bolts on there. I should just have one pair of U-bolts on there. Probably had more but I was able to hold them for you actually. They work good. What I did is just have that bow mount. This is where I was sitting from the front. Cool thing about this trolley motor it's uh a little bit more control it has the foot pedals right there I wasn't uh, really too fond of it I think I'm gonna upgrade it to the wireless you can also upgrade it to the to wireless um, remote control so it's nice that's why I kind of wanted it that's why I kind of wanted it is because I didn't want to have to deal with you know just with my gas outboard I you know currently have the Suzuki two and a half I've always uh, just holding it staring it I always wanted to just uh, stare at this thing. You know, remote control be cool to just have your both of your hands free. Don't worry about having to steer steer your other boat. I'm um, sorry, steer steer the boat with your other hand while keeping the boat on straight while you're on trolling because I like to troll when I fish. Um, the funny thing is though is that when I actually had it, yeah, when I was trying it at first, I was trying it as a boat mount. It was really hard to keep the boat on track. And I uh, keep had to keep keep steering the, the boat left and right to keep it on track. When I did have it as a, when I had the motor pulling the boat, then I switched it over to pushing the boat. So it'll be like a regular transom trolling motor. It actually push push the boat a lot a lot better. I was able to you know go straight, and um, so I just pretty much just uh, you know reversed the motor, and it was able to just pull it just fine. It was. It was great. It was actually kind of annoying at first when I was trying to pull the boat, because having to just you know keep keep keeping the boat straight was just a pain, having to go through it. But when I was uh, when I was put you know pushing the boat, put it in as a regular transit motor, it went ahead and uh, you know did you know it kept the boat really straight. So I don't know why. If I think the boat's just too light for it, that's why it's probably better just pushing it. But um, you can see here I'm gonna try it with the my foot pedals so I got it hooked up to this battery interstate battery I believe it's like 160 amps deep cycle battery and I also have just in case I ever start but you can see the boat you can see it with my foot pedal here's my foot pedal I'm gonna control it with my foot pedal Let's just grab it. Okay. Let me can go left. Let me go turn it. Turn the turn the propeller on. It's a, it's a 55 pound, 55 pound Minkota Power Vert Drive V2. So I'm controlling it with my foot pedal. So, so my plan is try to get the electronic, you know, the, the electric motor up front and then keep my gas motor in the back or I guess it doesn't matter with the insect motor or fork just because, you know, it's, each side is pretty much the same. But one side we get gas and then keep the electric motor up there, put the gas back here. I like, you know, I... There's always pros and cons of everything with the power, with the with the battery power, with the trolling motor. It's nice because it's so quiet. I killed it with fish today. A bunch of fish. I don't know. It's because it's uh, because I was so quiet compared to my gas motor. My gas motor, obviously, there's a little bit more. There's that engine noise vibration. So I don't know if that scares the fish off. This thing is just pure quiet. You just and it's nice. You don't have to deal with the engine noise the whole day, especially with, when I go fish because I like to troll it all day. The, the drawback of this is just really having to carry these battery. A battery alone is like probably like 40, 50 pounds. My gas motor by itself. 
all that, you know, gas motor by itself is only about 30 pounds. And then all you have to do is just carry, you know, carry a, a you know, a gas tank. That's it. You know, I usually typically take like a one, one gallon test gas tank and I don't even use that. But, you know, I think uh, having both of them be best, best of both worlds. We'll see. I still need to be able to do modifications on it to be able to fit both of them. But as you can see there, I'm controlling it from here. Pressing the button. That's the cool thing about this, being able to control it. That's why I wanted it. Alright, if you have any questions, let me know.